You can follow somebody's format, you can copy someone, somebody can tell you what to do with your arms, but ultimately the goal is to know yourself. The ultimate goal is to feel at home in your own body, to be present with where your hands are, your shoulders, your elbows, your fingertips, your face, and be comfortable in your own skin. No one else is going to really be able to do that for you, no matter how famous a person or a choreographer is, but nobody ultimately will replicate how you do just you. I want you guys to realize more or be more present with where your arms are when you dance. Your hands naturally are going to be and should be the most expressive part of your dance, unless we're tap dancing, which we're not. This is part of the picture when it comes to what we imagine having a dope top rock or having a dope introduction to your rounds would be knowing where your hands are. So what we're doing is we're going to take that away. With your partner, I want you to assign them where their arms need to be and you are going to do the most uncomfortable top rock round of your life. Manipulate your partner's arms. Quick survey, raise your hand if you felt more creative and more comfortable locking out your arms. Oh, so Not to worry about it. Raise your hand if you felt less creative. Yep. Alright? Because ultimately what we're trying to do first is just your awareness of your body while you guys do this part of the dance. What we know is top rock today is actually freestyle. Let me say freestyle. Freestyle. Freestyle yeah. is the freestyle dance element of rocking or just freestyle hands, technically. So you are going to just rock. Everybody tip your toes, show me this. Because you still get to rock, you should still be engaging your lower back and your abs. Catch this beat, but I want you to dance only using your arms. You're not allowed to look at the ground, you need to look up. Now, what I want you to try doing is not a million different poses. You're not voting, right? Although I you can. But I want you to try to dance as much as you can without moving your position of your feet. But you can move your feet, you can do balance. I want you guys to dance for two minutes like this. I want you to experiment with changing what you're doing with your arms. I want you to experiment with building a character using your gestures. But I also want you to experiment going back to what you just did with not changing your arms. So how long can you just own one pose one position and tweak it like you would if you were sculpting. Here we go, two minutes. Get uncomfortable. Let's go. <laughs> The ultimate goal is to feel at home in your own body, to be present with where your hands are, your shoulders, your elbows, your fingertips, your face, and be comfortable in your own skin. No one else is going to really be able to do that for you, no matter how famous a person or a choreographer is, and you're trying to imitate them, maybe you become a master at that, but nobody ultimately will replicate how you do just you. Okay? So we're going to apply this back into our top rock with all of our steps that we just did. We're all going to freestyle, but I want you to focus less on the steps you're going to do and more on what your arms are doing. Okay? I'm going to play this all with obvious accents and I want you to focus on trying to keep your base, your steps as foundational, as basic as possible. You're not going to spin. You're not going to travel. You can top rock. You can move your feet. You can move around a little bit. But the goal is to focus on the most foundational things you can do with your legs and what the hell is going on with your arms, all right? This is a super important exercise, not for you just to get in your own body, but for you to start listening to the music. You don't need to overcomplicate this dance by trying to do a million moves. That goes for not just top rock, but also footwork and power moves and everything else. 
focus on what part of this dance is you, and you'll actually enjoy it a lot more. I promise. Let's go. <laughs> we're going through this again and again and again is because your top rock is like your debut. Your top rock is the first thing in general that people are really going to see about your dances. When it comes to just dancing socially, not great, but just dancing, dancing with a girl. Your ability, your ability to express the music on top shows that you're a dancer and not so pay attention to that picture in the mirror that you're creating, because that's what everybody else sees too. Doesn't matter if you have the craziest moves. If your top rock is booty, people will know, all right?